Wagon Wheels, Chapter One. This story takes place a long time ago. So long ago that there were no towns or cities in the middle of the United States. People called pioneers were traveling west to find land to build their homes on. The characters in our story are traveling from Kentucky and they ride their wagon all the way to Kansas. Chapter One, The Dugout. There it is, boys, Daddy said. Across this river is Nicodemus, Kansas. That is where we are going to build our house. There is free land for everyone here in the West. All we have to do is go and get it. We had come a long way to get to Kansas, all the way from Kentucky. It had been a hard trip and a sad one. Mama died on the way. Now there were just four of us, Daddy, Willie, Little Brother, and me. Come on, boys, Daddy called. Let's put our feet on free dirt. We crossed the river wagon and all. A man was waiting for us on the other side. I'm Sam Hickman, he said. Welcome to the town of Nicodemus. I thank you, brother, Daddy said. But where is your town? Right here, Mr. Hickman said. We did not see any houses but we saw smoke coming out of holes in the prairie. Shucks, my daddy said. Holes in the ground are for rabbits and snakes, not for free black people. I am a carpenter. I can build fine wood houses for this town. No time to build wood houses now, Mr. Hickman told my daddy. Winter is coming. And winter in Kansas is mean. Better get yourself a dugout before the ground freezes. Daddy knew Sam Hickman was right. We got our shovels and we dug us a dugout. It wasn't much of a place. Dirt floor, dirt walls, no windows. And the roof? was just grass and branches. But we were glad to have that dugout when the wind began to whistle across the prairie. Every night, Willie lit the lamp and made a fire. I cooked a rabbit stew or fried a pan of fish fresh from the river. After supper, Daddy would always say, how about a song or two? He would take out his banjo and plink-a-plonk, plink-a-plonk. Pretty soon, that dugout felt like home. 